What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Gmaya's World. Now right now we're going to be talking about this Madden glitch that has players raging. It also affected the market very negatively and I'm going to explain to you guys what's going on. Alright, these Steam Team Remix players, I've been getting so many messages. Yo G, does it work? What's going on with it? Before I even show you who I'm about to rage sell, I just want to let you guys understand. The running backs, although it says that they start on like uh, Eric Dickerson, um, they're not. it's not working the way it's supposed to. Um, are they going to fix this glitch? I don't know. Um, it's still been going on. So what happens is if you have this card and you power them up to a 99 by using those uh, remix coins or whatever they are, he's not going to be able to use the X factor in the proper manner. Now, there is no timetable as of yet. We tried them out. Um, well, I, well, actually, no, I had a couple people try them out yesterday and earlier today, and it still was not working. All right, so I don't know if EA is on vacation. I don't know what's going on, but all the other players work. The one thing that I'm going to say, though, uh, the way the market has been responding to these theme team remix players is very, very negatively. And also, uh, because of the token situation, with EA not giving out more tokens, it's been negative uh, with the golden tickets as well. So I'm going to show you guys what's really happening. For those of you guys that want to jump in and get a golden ticket or start to build your team up, um, a lot of these cards... You can actually build a team relatively quickly and um, have a lot of success, all right? Especially with these running backs. Like, if you just wanted a running back and you grab a golden ticket one, you can have a lot of fun. Uh, this guy, John Running, is really, really trash. I don't know who made him, but dude, why? You know what I'm saying? Like, I, just, I would just want to ask him why. Uh, Zach Wilson, a.k.a. Milfson, um, he's really good. I still like him uh, where he is right now. Colin Johnson, I would probably avoid that unless you get a remix player that can play defense because he does get the short out and the short in for zero. So that might actually help you out a lot. Um, the market being what it is and his price plummeting, that could be something that you could, you know, watch out for and see how it works out and go from there. Um, you know, Javon Curse, he went down in price. I'm guessing, see, this is the thing, right? If I sell Javon Curse, and let's just say for whatever reason, I get, um, you know, I go ahead and get that remix Dexter or whatever, Dexter Jackson, whatever his name is, right? And I put him out there. All the cards pretty much play the same, but the way the market is right now, you can pretty much take advantage of anything that's going on. Now, the one thing that's advantageous with Colin Johnson, like I said, uh, with the golden ticket and something that I've been watching is the fact that he does get the short out and the short in for zero. The only other player, to my knowledge, that does that is Randy Moss. But Randy Moss being 6'4", doesn't really help you as much. So you could consider, with the way the market is, doing these different things if you would, you know, if, if it's something that you're into. Like, do you want to get rid of these cards? Like, however it's going to work out for you, you got to make a move right now if you wanted to buy because everything is being sold at dirt cheap prices. Now, I got to go and show you guys what's going on with a card that I have right now and let you know what a real glitch is, all right? This dude, Lester Hayes, right? Let me just tell you what happened, and I want to know if this happened to you guys uh, any t you know, in, in any of the recent moments that you've been playing Madden, right? It's fourth down and 786. A guy sees Lester Hayes lit up and ready for action, throws the ball right at him. He acts like a weenie from Weenie Hut Juniors, acts like he's going to do a breakup or pick it, and gets Moss for six. Let me know if that's happened, because if that's happened to you, that's why he's on the market right now. That's why he's actively there right now for 2.29 mil, and I want him gone, and I can't wait for him to be gone because he sucks. And I don't know exactly when that happened because when I first unlocked him yesterday, he was playing well and everything was good. All of a sudden, he just started to be trash. And like I said, I, you know, every day the game changes, but that was a real drastic change with the way EA did me dirty with that card in particular. So I'm just letting you guys understand what's going on. There's a lot that's starting to happen with the game and the market is being negatively affected. But I know the next question is going to be, okay, G, you get rid of Lester Hayes. Where are you going with it, bro? Uh, this is what it's about right here, right? Let me just show you what's happening. Sauce Gardner, right? He is pretty much the same exact card as Lester Hayes. This is one of those tips where it's like, yo, guys, you need to do this right now. One of the other major things is he's already a stock 99 speed. So you could put him anywhere and it's going to work. Another thing that you're going to do when you go ahead and get his card, you're going to give him that New York Jets balance and it's going to add a whole lot of stuff to his card that's going to, you know, increase that. Obviously, I'm not a psychopath, so I don't have a Jets theme team, but he gets all of that added to him as well. So it kind of, you know, it boosts his attributes a little bit. You know, his play wreck and all that stuff, his agility goes up. So it works out. 
but he gets everything that Lester Hayes has and his universal coverage is one and it starts on as well and you get five plays on and then I think it was like three, whatever, three or four off, whatever it is. But it's the same exact situation, but he's so much more less. All right, so if you've grinded for um, Lester Hayes and you're like, yo, gee, what should I do? I'm gonna try to get rid of him. I'm gonna see if I can. You see how dudes are like, you know, putting him up for lower, lower prices, whatever like that. I'm gonna try my best to kind of see how we can get rid of him. Because as long as we get around two mil for him, the grind was worth it. I would have loved to have sold him for more, but even like right now with the way it is, I'm gonna put him up for less uh, right now and see if we could do something about it. Because I don't really believe that people understand how trash that card is. You know what I'm saying? And it's just something about it. And I know a lot of people got like four mil for him, stuff like that. It was pretty cool to start, but I think right now, people are starting to realize, yo, this game is garbage. You know, and everybody pretty much, they play around the same way. So he just sold for 2199. All right, let's put him up for that. 2105. Like I said, as long as it's around two milli, like we good, like there's no real reason to go crazy with it. So we could get that for him. We're good. We're not going to go crazy about it. Somebody will probably snatch him up. We're good to go with that. And it's over. All right. So I want you guys to focus on that. And like I said, as far as golden tickets go, uh, with the prices being lowered, um, the player that I'm talking about, uh, the Dexter Jackson, we could take a look at that right now. So you guys more or less understand what's happening. Pretty much any of the 92 overalls uh, theme team remix players, when you buy the 92, you can then upgrade it with the remix coins. All right. So they have similar type of abilities and all kind of garbage that these other cards have that are rare. All right, so you don't have to really go too crazy. So let, let's say, for instance, you got like, you know, a, a minimal amount of coins. Any of these 92s, when you power them up, they go to 99 and they get those, you know, they get those like start and X factor type things. So let me type his name in so you guys can see what's happening. So if I do want to sell the curse, right, because he's a Dallas Cowboy and I just don't know what he's doing. Um, oh, he's the limited. Okay, so he's the limited. I thought he was one of the 92. So that's good that I'm showing it to you guys now. So you're not like, yo, gee, he's the limited. He's the limited. He gets uh, pretty much most of what goes on with the other with, with Curse. I think the only thing about him is he doesn't get the um, he doesn't get the two for the zero. He don't get the pick artist and the acrobat, obviously. But he gets like two of the same abilities, and you could rock with him. And you know, if you want to give him an X factor, you could do that too. But the bottom line about it is the golden tickets will be rendered useless if you don't have the tokens to use for them. And because I only have, like all of you guys, two tokens, we have to be very, very careful with it. Is it good to have Acrobat pick artists, you know, zero, zero, and then you use the one ability? Yes, that is beautiful. But if we can make our team better by getting, you know, players that, you know, are cheaper, but do the same exact thing, why not? And like I said, he's a stock 99 speed as well. We're gonna throw that Excel on him with the Sprinter uh, uh, Strat card. That's, he, he's pretty much the same exact card as what we're dealing with with, with Curse. Uh, and then we could sell Curse and just replace him with him as a limited. So it works out the same exact way. So I just wanna give you guys, you know, food for thought with that. Take a look at some of these remix players, see what works for you. Don't worry about whatever, you know, everybody else is doing. Just see what works for you and, you know, go with it. And um, even if you wanted to get somebody cheaper, right now I really wouldn't recommend it. Uh, honestly, I would probably say, um, I would probably say Dexter Jackson might work. We could look at some other stuff like using some of the other players that we have in different regards like that, um, the Keith Taylor Jr. or whatever. We could also do that and sell Curse and then use the token for Colin Johnson. Uh, there's a lot of variations we could do, but I think it starts with just letting you guys know, you know, the market right now is really, really bad. Everything is all messed up. Go ahead and take advantage of what's available and get it done. And this guy Lester Hayes, dude. Yo, why? Yo, dude, yo, that guy makes me sick, dude. Yo, what? Yo, back me out of this. Like, what, what are you doing? Like, bro, why hasn't that guy sold yet? I, dude, just give me the two milli. By the time you guys see me again, he probably will sell. He's still running around trying to stay on the squad. Bro, your time's up. Bro, somebody put off a 201? Oh, yeah, we, we got a fight on our hands, chat. I'm going to see you guys and girls next time. You enjoy your day. One love, y'all.